everybody and welcome to day 20 of our Lent Reflections. So I'm going to be continuing talking about the theme of love and we're going to be going back into 1 John. But this time we're going to be starting part way through verse 16 and to the end of verse 21. So let's read that now. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God, yet hates a brother or sister, is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. So I think this passage really continues on the theme that we were talking about yesterday and develops it further. Loving God and loving one another are synonymous. They're the top two commandments that Jesus tells us to do. But they are synonymous with one another. Of course, love God is first. But loving one another has to be done to be able to love God. It says that in verse 21. And it also talks about fear. So I want to talk about that quickly because it says in verse 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Fear is a crippling thing for us but God says that there's no fear in love so if we're able to love we can do that without fear I take great comfort in that and that's because fear has to do with punishment but if you're in love there is no punishment and it says that the one who is fear fears is not made perfect in love let's be made perfect in love and then to finish off, I just want to talk about verse 19. We loved because he first loved us. I cannot emphasize that enough. He loved us first. Jesus loved us first because he wanted a relationship with us despite us falling short every single time. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. Let's love, as I said yesterday, let's continue to use the fruits of the spirit of love. Love one another. Let's have confidence, as it says in verse 17, on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. Let's follow Jesus' actions towards one another. Doesn't matter what sort of people we come across. Let's be loving. Let's pray for that now. Lord, help us to be more like Jesus. Help us to love and be perfect in love, Lord, which you've promised us. Help us to overflow our love to each person that we interact with, Lord. Help us to be confident on the day of judgment, Lord, that we have lived in love and are therefore perfect in love through you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for how much you love us. And I pray, Lord, that you'll help each one of us continue on the journey of love today. Mm -hmm.